Hi guys, welcome back. Baseball 9 video. Today we're going to be going over attributes, control, control attributes for pitchers. I know in the past when I've been talking about attributes, a lot of it's been aimed at batting attributes. We did speed, batter's eye, contact, but now we're going to flip it over to the pitching side of things and take a look at some of the pitching attributes starting with control. One of the main ones here, um, I think the series has been pretty useful. I've seen pretty good feedback from you all. Um, just going in more to the tips, videos, um, things like that. But yeah, if you like it, give me a like down below. Comment down below um, if you have any other suggestions for topics you want me to cover. But going into this, as always, I like to start off with kind of what the skill is. So it, Pitcher attributes control is a better pitch control and lower chance of giving away walks. In practice, what you'll see here is when you go to pitch, it will be that kind of circle, the size of that circle and how accurate your pitches are. So right now I have my starter and it's a 62 overall Gronk with 77 control. Um, so you can see here, it gives you an estimate of where that pitch is likely going to end up. It's for things with um, any movement on it, curveballs, sliders, it might be a little more, but if we just look at fastballs, the simplest pitch, um, it's gonna try to stay within that circle, right? Every time it's pretty narrow. So if I want to throw a pitch, you know, upper corner, or I want it to go outside, I want it to try to hit a corner, um, make it harder for them to swing. I go down there, higher control, I'm gonna be able to hit that point exactly where I want it more often than not. But after this inning, we're gonna switch in a pitcher with a lower control and we should see that circle increase by a lot. So let's say now that we, let's switch this guy in. Um, yeah, sub, and then now we're gonna put in you know, like a terrible pitcher. Now, we see here, his control is 38, and look at how big that circle has gotten. If I wanna hit that corner, right, I don't know where that ball's gonna go. It, it could end up going, you know, realistically, it could end up going like to the middle of the strike zone, right down the middle. If I wanna throw it down the middle, it could go, it's, it's like the whole, you know, 80% of the plate of the strike zone, it could go anywhere. So um, it'll still try its best to go where you aim it at, but the variance is going to be a lot higher. And we didn't really focus on this as much with the previous attribute series, but I want to take some time also to talk about the effects that this has on your team when you're simulating games. So when you're, when you're not playing games, uh, manually like I am here if you're skipping games or using your stamina to simulate games um, this will also have an effect as we saw earlier in the description of control it lowers the chance of giving walks so obviously if I'm pitching manually even with a terrible control attribute I can still make it so that I pretty much never walk the batter um, we can see here if we switch back over if I want to just throw throw it down the middle every single time, it's it's still going to be a strike, right? Even though that circle is huge, it's still going to land somewhere in the strike zone. So if if I really don't want to, I I could not walk any batters at all. But when you're simulating games, things are a little bit different. The computer is not going to throw the ball down the middle every single time. They're going to want to mix it up, um, try, you know, some corners, high corner. They want to go low. They want to go high, whatever the case may be. But when they do that and you have a low control, that ball, where it ends up is going to be a lot different than what the computer thinks it is, which will result in more walks. So when you simulate games and you have a pitcher with higher I mean, lower control rating, you might see their walks increase, um, which would make sense just because, you know, you have a worse pitcher, uh, they're not gonna be as accurate as a better pitcher. Um, I guess we could also just think of this 
in terms of accuracy. How accurate is your pitcher with their pitches? Are they hitting you know, where they want to hit? Now we see here, 70 overall grunk, 80 control. Look at how, how small that circle is. It's very narrow. If I want to go right down the middle, that pitch is going right down the middle, nine times out of 10. If I want to go to the upper left corner, boom, it's right there. There's no guessing. It's, it's gonna be on the money most of the time. And as your pitchers get tired throughout the game, you see their health right now. He's, he's green, he's happy. Um, as that drops as well, their control will start to expand and drop just because, you know, like in real baseball, if they're getting tired, they're not going to have as much control and accuracy over their pitches. So uh, look out for that as well. Um, but yeah, this is just a drastic comparison over the control attributes and when it can and can't apply. Now, I also want to mention... Um, some of my personal thoughts on leveling the control attribute. So here, like we were just saying, Gronk got tired now, his health bar is dropped, it's in the yellow, it's that line right above where all his um, stats are. So you see that orange yellowish bar, he's gotten tired, he's giving up control now. Um, in terms of leveling up, I, I would kind of say that control is pretty important uh, especially right off the bat you're not gonna have a lot of pitch types you saw my recruit pitcher earlier only had three pitch types it, it could be good putting some attribute points into those pitches but you really want to have a high control um, get that up to you know it doesn't have to be 80 you start off at like 30 to 40 get that up to like 60 65 where at least it's manageable it's not gonna cover 80% of the plate of the strike zone, um, you're going to at least be able to narrow that down um, and to get pitches where you want them to go. And after you get that, um, look into upgrading certain pitches. If you want to have them really good at just one type of pitch, you could do that. Or you can do the route where you make them better all around. Each pitch type is about the same. It's really up to you. Um, Personally, I like to have fun. I have some pitchers that are really good fastballs, others who are better at curveballs, fork balls, whatever it may be. I try to specialize just because it's it it's a little bit more fun. But in terms of competitiveness, you might want to have them be a better, more well well rounded pitcher. So that was just a quick rundown of the control stats. Um, I think that's about it for control. We're giving the comparison, much like on the hitting side, where I suggest leveling up batter's eye to begin with. This would be the equivalent on the pitcher side on your pitchers, treading up their control um, just a little bit so you're not, you know, right there hitting people, giving out walks when you're simulating your games. I know when I first started, I simulated a lot of game to grind up and gain experience, levels, experience, drinks, all that good stuff to level up my team. But yeah, that's all I had for today for this video. Um, we're just going to pitch out the rest, a couple more innings to give you some more examples. But thanks so much for watching. If you thought this guide was useful, give this a like. If you like this series in general, just going over the attributes, hit that like button. As I said earlier, comment down below if there are any other attributes or mechanics that you want me to talk about um, to give you an edge on your opponent, get your team leveled up and ready to play. Uh, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for tuning in. And yeah, if you want to stick around, we're just going to pitch out the remainder of this game or at least this inning. And then we'll see you next time. So here, he, Gronk got tired. He's a reliever. He, he's not meant for uh, extended duty. His pitch count was getting kind of up there. So here we have Will Smith now, 72 control. Like I said earlier, it's, it's not 80. It's not crazy high, but I think anything above 60 will get you to where you want to go. It's not going to be um, something where that that circle is just ridiculous you know that's not something you want to see on any of your pitchers especially if they're fresh and ready to go so here they're gonna pull a couple quick ones on us um, 
I'm going to take him out. 68. See, that's at least a lot better than having 40, which which is why I really try to hone in on that point to get that up to a respectable level. Um, but yeah, let's see. We got striked out. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys later this weekend. Peace out.